Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be talking about Snapchat. That's right, Snapchat and how Snapchat is easy money to short right now. In my opinion. In my opinion only. Why did I say this? Because it's overbought right now. This is clearly overbought. The stock was at $28.45. It almost more than you know 70% uh grew in value in a matter of two days or rather one two three three days and if we look at the RSI level it's clearly clearly overbought uh, am I wrong for shorting I personally I have put options on it I don't I'm not physically shorting the stock I mean I could physically short the stock if I wanted to but I'm not I just bought put options on it because it's just looks like such a big opportunity. It feels like the stock needs to pull back. It needs to pull back. What I think is happening right now is a little bit of a short squeeze. And, you know, I, I, I feel like it should pull back because it's overbought right now. But sometimes the market can go, can be a bizarre and it can just keep pushing the stock price up. Higher and higher and higher and higher. But, you know, if it keeps going up 10% every day, I'm just going to keep buying put options on it. So, if Monday comes along and it goes up another 10%, I'm buying more put options on it. Because eventually, it's going to have to correct. I mean, I feel like this company is so overvalued. They flipped a small profit and the stock shoots up 80% or 70% in three days that is insane movement and right now it's worth 63.5 billion dollars it's insane it's just it's absolutely insane I don't get why big money is uh, pushing the stock price up right now so much uh, maybe that has something to do with the earnings conference call there's something in there that they talk about that really excites investors and that's the reason why uh, <laughs> when I say investors I mean rich people because come on 63.5 billion dollars is insane that's just insane I think this thing has to pull back so we'll see what happens but this is the snapchat is insane right now 63.5 uh, I wish I bought some Snapchat stock back when it was like $2, $3. Man, that would have made so much money. $5. Like, in 2018, this stock was sitting at $5. And now it's sitting at $42. That's insane. $10 would have been a pretty good buying opportunity too. That's... A 4x return on investment in a short amount of time like I said I feel like snapchat is so overvalued right now that you know it's just it's an easy short really easy short could it keep going up absolutely but I think it's gonna crash I think it's gonna fall back down to earth correct itself to around 35 US dollars and then maybe start grinding his way back up again I don't know at the end of the day I don't know what big money is gonna do but next week is the election week or uh, next week is pretty gonna I think next week is gonna be a volatile week because election is coming up and I think snap is gonna fall we'll see uh, Twitter you know look at Twitter it's twice the value of Twitter right now and Twitter is way more profitable, way more profitable than Snapchat. Well, not twice, 50% more valuable than Twitter right now. Uh, Facebook it, uh, is popping a little bit today because of Snap. Uh, GameStop is, you know, just kind of up 15 cents. Not, not too much to say about that. AMD is slowly grinding its way up, but we'll see where this goes. Could this be the bottom? It could be. This could look. This looks like a reversal to me. And earnings are coming up, and I'm very bullish on AMD's earnings. Tesla is uh, fell today, and it's 
big money and retail investors are buying it up. Neo, Neo is down today, thirty-five cents. Nikola is down thirty-three cents today. Snow is down eight point seven eight percent today. Let's look at Intel. What Intel? Intel. What is Intel? Is seven forty-eight dollars this morning? Um, Nvidia is up six dollars and twenty two cents xilinx xilinx oh man oh xilinx ooh xilinx up today pretty big pretty big move today for xilinx up three dollars and fifty one cents not too much to say about that. Tesla is down six dollars and fifty-two cents. Neo is down thirty-eight cents. Uh, Workhorse is um, up thirteen cents. DPHC Diamond Peak Holdings merger is on Monday. Monday is the official date for the merger, and it'll be called Ride. Will the stock continue to crash? Well, from a charting perspective, it looks very, very bearish. And I think there's more further downside. Uh, I think, you know, I think it's going to hit, you know, $17, $16. But it could break that and go lower. We'll see. Solo. Solo is up a penny. Kensington Capital Acquisition Corp up 15 cents. Uh, Hennessy Capital is uh, down 6 cents. Trine is down 16 cents. The Spy is right now probably volatile, but we'll see when my f browser will finally load. Come on, browser. What the hell is going on? Man, I wonder if I had like a 16 core CPU and I won't have this problem with this bullshit of this browser stuff. Z, uh, ZM Zoom Video Communication is down $11.84. Uh, Amazon is down $8.40. Multiplan is down 18 cents. Gilded Science is up 39 cents. Facebook is up $3.77. High Tide is up a penny. Liberal Health Science is up half a penny. Very Good Food Company is up 4 cents. Let's look at Kira, what is Kira doing right now? Kira is down five cents. ACB is down nineteen cents. CGC is just volatile today. Cron is down twenty three cents. Tilray is down eight cents. Harv is down seven cents. Cresco Labs is up five cents. True is up thirty four cents. GTI is uh, down twenty one cents. Ianthus is just trading sideways. Men, man is down one cents. Anyways, that is it for my video. I only got to last another thirty seconds. Hmm, interesting. Well, I don't know what else to talk about. Um, Tesla. I don't know. But Snap. Oh, look, Snap is still in the fall after I, I bought some put options on it. I think I almost bought it at the very top. So I. So yeah, we'll see where this goes, but 
I'm expecting a pullback big time. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.